Dean groaned in response. You can fly? He accused. Gus put his arms up on the back of Dean's seat. It doesn't work like you think. We move much faster than anything from the human world, and we use an empty dimension to cross large distances. Dean has somehow managed to use the ability over relatively small distances, I assume staying in this world the entire time. He doesn't experience it like I would, and has no perception of the actual journey. It just happened, Dean added. We were in the fight, and then I wasn't. And then we got the hell out of Dodge. And my head is killing me. The angel grimaced. He'd already taken the pain away twice, but it kept coming back. By the intensity, he might have it for days. Kez extended his arm and touched the back of Dean's head. The muscles in his neck relaxed a little. He breathed out slowly. Shifting the car into gear, it rolled away from the park. Sam's face remained vacant as he tried to assess the situation. He ran through the pros and cons, tried to imagine what it could mean, especially if it wasn't temporary. He asked himself if his brother would do anything else new, and if this ability might hurt him in the long run. Worry and anxiousness rolled up in his gut. But, part of it was a relief, too. Even though Dean thought the world of him, in his own way, the foreign blood of a dead demon was still in Sam's veins, and that discrepancy separated them. Sam had a hunch that it also scared Dean a little, having his kid brother not be 100% grained a human. But Dean was even less so, now. He had a whole lot more angel lodged inside of him. Though not necessarily relevant, he'd also ingested exponentially more blood than Sam had, and done so a bit more willingly. Sam shivered. As far as he could tell, apart from their new pal, the angels weren't much better than demons, either, though certainly different. So, in a way, they were the same, left to work around this strange, and find themselves in their places along with. We'll get through it, he said with a little more confidence than he expected. It's not the end of the world. There may be another advantage, Kiss said quietly from behind them. When Sam turned, they're not just looking for me, anymore, and we collectively have more power than they may realize or fully understand. What do you mean? Other angels? They're rebelling. They will be looking for others like them, to protect and for protection. And a leader. Which has ran his mouth and said he was, Dean snarked. They think he started a revolution on purpose. But that's not true? He asked anyway. No, Kuz shook his head. I just wanted to stay here. Dean looked back at him on made to say something, but stopped himself and returned his focus on driving. Sam thought the exchange over for a short time before stowing it away for later. Whatever was going on between them, he didn't have to deal with it right in that moment. And there was so much else to contemplate. Do you think word might get to them? I mean...